just when we thought full self-driving couldn't even get more crazy, Elon Musk has announced that on September 5th, it's going to be having its largest price increase of all time. So inflation is partly to blame, I'm sure, but ever since the $10,000 upgrade a couple of years ago, Tesla has now been making $2,000 increments because before that it was $8,000. That five figure jump was hard to swallow. And then another $2,000 jump was made about seven or eight months ago. Now for the first time, we're seeing our first $3,000 jump. There was leaks and rumors about them potentially doing a $14,000 price, but those seem to be completely bypassed because Tesla seems to think there's this much value literally in lines of code. And a lot of you may be thinking, why can they keep getting away with this? And some of you may be thinking, yeah, you know, logical, makes sense. And even from a business and consumer perspective, in today's video, I'll be explaining why I think this is kind of logical because of the current state of full self-driving not being quite done. Yes, the beta 10.69 update is fairly impressive and it's probably the best it's ever been, but we've still got a long ways to go until Tesla starts assuming more liability, which is where a lot of you guys draw the line. Like, yeah, maybe people would be willing to spend that much if it actually meant you didn't have to hold the wheel, you didn't have to look at the road, but so far this is still a driver assistance feature. This is still level two, which means that it's cool and the car can do a lot, but even if you pay the full $15,000, there's no guarantee that you actually have access to the beta. You still have to pass a certain set of requirements, get a certain safety score, and then have the privilege of testing the software, which you still have to pay attention, still have to keep your hands on the wheel. So given these insane prices and given the beta's performance over time, I think Tesla has finally realized that the majority of their buyers and their customers kind of fall into two major camps. Either you believe that one day this technology will happen, or you believe that it's nearly impossible and it could be decades or maybe never when the car is completely autonomous and can actually become a robo-taxi. So granted, I think most people are probably unconvinced, and that's why, according to Troy Teslike's data, the take rate on full self-driving is not particularly high. At least in more recent quarters, it seems to be dwindling down to 12%, 10%, which makes sense. You know, the more expensive the software package, the less number of people are willing to justify it, but because of how insanely high these prices are getting, and for the most part, it doesn't really require much action for Tesla to activate this software package, Tesla realizes like, hey, you're either in or you're out, you know? If you're not interested in this software package, you are probably not gonna be paying $7,000 for it. But if you are, you're gonna pay whatever we ask for. So if you're losing certain people on four-figure software packages, but you've still sold a lot of people that, yeah, this is definitely going to one day make me money, then $15,000 is nothing if it means I get the best and greatest software package to ever exist in a vehicle. So by that logic, Tesla, I think, can justify like, hey, we can raise the price, and I think these announcements are where Tesla really sees the huge surge in orders. I bet the take rate of full self-driving drops off after every single price hike because it sounds ridiculous, it's in the news a lot, and people have a bad taste in their mouth, but I bet you right now, leading up to September 5th, a lot of Tesla owners, and maybe even some of you watching this video are thinking, well, okay, that means I can buy $12,000 today, and that guarantees my resale value on my car is going to go up, because I know for sure that in the future, this is going to be a $15,000 package. So there lies a different camp of people that maybe don't know whether or not robo-taxis or even level three autonomous driving is going to be possible, but they see it as a guaranteed way to increase the value of their vehicle, in which case, whether Tesla achieves level four, level five autonomy or not is kind of irrelevant. This is just a guaranteed way to preserve your resale value, because if you lock your price in at $12,000 and in the future it's worth twenty dollars or $25,000, then yeah, you got in at a good price, which means that you'll probably flip your vehicle for a profit, no matter how good or stagnant FSD beta gets. But if you're wondering where I fall on this subject in particular, since I'm hoping to take delivery of a bottle three in the next couple weeks, I personally can't justify this expense, at least quite yet, and it's mostly because of the subscription. The idea that you can try full self-driving out for about a month and come back to it down the road and there's no long-term contract you have to lock yourself into. I definitely want to see how the beta performs, and there's a lot of places in my area where I'd like to see what it does. And I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't tell you how to spend your money. You got to do your own research. But when we're talking about spending $12,000 or $15,000 on a software package, that's when I have to start comparing what would happen if I invested that money in Tesla stock or any number of other index funds with high dividends and compare to how is that going to appreciate over time versus 
my monthly losses of just subscribing to Full Self Driving. And I think that might be a great solution to a lot of you that want to try out this software package, but don't want to commit to the full $12,000 or $15,000. The subscription, as far as we know, is not going up in price. Elon did not announce any pricing changes to Enhanced Autopilot either, which gives you a lot of present day features for only six grand, which is still insane, but definitely not as bad as 15, especially if you consider like for five grand more, you could probably buy the 2023 Chevy Bolt, like an entire EV with over 200 miles of range. It's coming close to the same price of Tesla's software package, which is mostly just a limited beta available to certain participants. So yeah, it's like from a business perspective, I kind of get why it makes sense to raise the price because they likely get a huge surge in orders right before every price hike. But at the same time, it still feels absolutely ridiculous. Is there any other software package in the consumer world you can think of that is 15 grand? This is basically unheard of. So what are your guys' thoughts on the price hike? Do you think it makes sense? Do you think this is ridiculous and they should stop it, especially with all the vehicle prices being at an all-time high? Shouldn't they combat that with lower FSD pricing? All of your thoughts and opinions, let me know what you're thinking down below. And thank you to everyone on Patreon supporting this channel directly. Seriously, helps us out a ton, as does just watching these videos. So thanks again. Have an excellent rest of your day.